What is up you guys? Welcome to a new video. This is gonna be a happy summer vibes video. We are gonna decorate together. The first thing I wanted to do to kick off this video was start my indoor garden. So I had, I guess you'd say unbox this, unbagged this in my previous video. I did a huge summer decor haul from a bunch of places and I picked up this little indoor garden. It's the coolest thing. At first whenever I opened it, I thought that there was no soil that came with it. There was, there's these little, pucks and you add little by little amounts of water and they will expand and it's the coolest thing. So it came with two pucks, ended up creating a ton of soil. So that's how I got that. And I also had this bloom, I don't know, sunflower or flower food. So that was also part of the plan and one of the things that I picked up in my decor haul. It came with a ton of little sunflower seeds. So this particular one was little dwarf sunflowers. How cute. So I spread those out. I added that little bloom flower food and I let them sit for a little bit and we, we prayed a little bit. Then I decided to get to work on our balcony. So we got rid of all of our old patio furniture on the balcony. So I decided to take on a project. I bought an inflatable pool. Now I was really excited about this pool because it's like an adult inflatable swimming pool, I guess you could say. It's basically a cocktail pool. There is a bench in here. There is a headrest, amazing, but there's more and we will get to that in a minute. But it took me, you know, just about 10 minutes to inflate the whole thing. We had to MacGyver a little situation to get the hose to the balcony. So we used Carl's leash and a Minnie Mouse ribbon to, <laughs> to tie the hose down. And then Andre tied it, I pulled it up and then we filled up the pool with the hose. It actually worked out quite well. I also have chairs that I've ordered from Amazon or from Wayfair that are on their way. This stand is from Bed Bath & Beyond. Now it's perfect, it works, but will it withhold huge amounts of wind? We will find out. So I put the stand together and then the umbrella that I ended up getting had like a very, I almost feel like Italy vibe. So the umbrella had like a little scalloped trim on it. Very cool vibes. The whole look that I'm going for is be very beige and white. And this umbrella was like super dirty cheap off of Bed Bath & Beyond. Pretty reasonable. Again, will it withhold a massive amount of wind? We will find out, but super cute for now. Like I said, those two chairs are coming from Wayfair. We had a little bit of a snafu, but from there we went back inside, cleaned off the bar cart because that is the main part of the decor halls. I always over kind of overhaul the bar cart, but first we needed rum punch. So in honor of the flower and garden show, which was missed this year, at Disney World, I took out my little orange bird and filled him with rum punch. And then we got to work. So the theme, as I mentioned in the last video, is very Amalfi Coast, lemon, yellow, summer, happy vibes. I got this placement at Chapters Indigo. I put my huge fishbowl glasses on there and then I used these little fake lemon wedges to kind of decorate the glasses. Now, a couple of you guys asked if I could cut these and actually put them on the rim. I'm pretty sure you could, it's just like a soft plastic. Then on the top, I wiped everything down. I have this big marble tray from Amazon and then the water dispenser, like the big lemon water dispenser. And then I just use like some lemonades and different cute things. This little chair is from Michael's. It's the cutest thing. They still have it. It also comes in red and I checked it is available in the States. Oh, by the way, I'll try my best to link every single thing down below. And if you're not following me on like to know it, definitely go follow on there because I link everything from my videos as well as my photos on Instagram. I also picked up some very color coordinated books from Chapters Indigo. And then I had that little tea towel that I put on the end of the bar cart, which I thought fit perfectly. Definitely coming together at this point, very happy. These glasses are by Chic and Tonic, love them. I used some of the lemons that I had left for that area. And then I put some lemon juice bottles at the back. We're gonna go through this whole thing together, but it was definitely coming together. Then I had three glasses because I broke one at Halloween and that worked out really well on this tray, just sitting behind the couch. And I just put them on that little aluminum tray. And then I had these little plants that I had gotten off of Amazon in a set of three. And then that little four piece vase is from Michael's. And I broke apart those little fake flowers and put them in there. And that actually worked out pretty well. So this is like the behind the couch console area. And I feel like that tied in the yellow really well and just has its own little kind of summery, very clean, crisp, zen moment 
we're listening to some Trader Sam's music on the TV. And this is what the coffee table looks like. So Michael's has new candles, you guys. Goodbye, Bath and Body Works. Uh, hello, Michael's. Very impressed. It actually smells amazing. So I got a eucalyptus and sage candle and I also got a yellow one. I'm not sure what the scent was, but it's on the bar cart. Fabulous. A lot of you guys are asking me about this machine. This is our air purifier machine. We got it when all of the chaos started and it also smells amazing. You can add essential oils to it. I always add the green clover and aloe. I actually bought this oil in Disney Springs, so it smells just like the Disney hotels. It's amazing. So it'll not only purify the air, but your hair, your house will smell amazing. Um, and I just put those palm leaves there for now. Little t coffee table books. I kind of cleaned up this area. I put a candle there and another nebulizer on the other end. Listen, we have diffusers going all day long in our house. So going over to the bar cart, this is kind of like the overall finish looked. Super happy with it. I'm still waiting on a couple things because the postal service system right now is not fast. The lemon branches are from Michael's as well as that mason jar. That worked out super well. I just kind of bent the ends and I stuck them in there. That little, I call it a Muskoka chair. You guys, a couple of you guys said it was called like a Miami chair. It, I guess it depends on where you're from. So super cute. Um, love that. These are just little salt and pepper shakers from Amazon. That that third plant is there, the lemonade. These two glasses were a gift from my parents and they actually rock back and forth. They're Andre and I's favorite glasses. They're like our, our fancy people glasses. And there's a little water dispenser that I got at the drugstore, which I'm sure you could probably get anywhere, but I just thought that was really cute. I'd pick that up early, early spring. And like I said, these martini, I, what would you call these martini glasses? They're from Chic and Tonic. And I put a little lemon wedge in each of those. I'm actually going to try cutting them and see if that would work. They're cute like this too, but I do think if I could cut it and put it on the rim of the glass, that'd be perfection. And then you can kind of see that, uh, the little honey pot that I got, which was honestly an extra. You'll see the original on the coffee tray, but Amazon sent me an extra since they messed up. Some limoncello, very appropriate. The Malfi gin, which we ended up finding a second one for Andre that's like orange flavored, so perfect. That's that other candle. So pineapple and mango, also from Michael's. Love. And then that little tiny lemon dish, which is super small, is from Amazon also, but it worked out perfectly. So these fishbowl glasses, also from Chic and Tonic, my favorite glasses ever. And then those little straws that I got off of Amazon, they have little lemons on them. Very cute, very appropriate. And then the little lemon wedges. It just adds a little touch of color in there. And then that placemat actually worked out. These shot glasses are from Italy. So that kind of inspired the whole thing. I've got some sweet vermouth and then some Campari, a little plant from Home Goods back there. And then my Grand Marnier, which is like the fancy Grand Marnier that I barely ever touch because it's special. <laughs> so I also have my little cherry bitters back there too. So I tried to keep it to things that we actually use. And then I have the books that I got. So I got the citrus book. I have a Negroni book, Ginspiration and Miami cocktails. And I really just, like I mentioned in the last video, went to the sales section to grab those. And behind the books, I have those lemon bottles, which I just searched product of Italy on Amazon. I found these San Pellegrino cans on Amazon. They came in a little bit dented, but whatever. And then this lemonade. I've actually been drinking some of the lemonades. Super good. They're like a sparkling lemonade. Still waiting on the big salad bowl for this little area, but the little cake stand is from Michael's. And then I just did a little basket of fake lemons in there also. So that's the bar cart. It worked out pretty well. I'm very happy with it. I'm probably gonna take that blue candle off of there once the salad bowl comes in, but that's the overall look. Love it. So moving on to the kitchen, I had my eucalyptus candle going from Ray Dunn and it was time to kind of conquer, organize, put everything away. I have these cute little mason jars that I had gotten, which I use as just to organize. And I thought that this little daisy tea steeper thing was cute. I had so many extra straws too that I put in a mug. I put them in a couple different mugs and I loved this Be Kind yellow mug from Ray Dunn. All of this is Ray Dunn, by the way, if you don't know what Ray Dunn is, if you ever see it, that's the font. It just looks really cute and clean and organized and it's a thing. I love it. If you're new here, you'll see a lot of it. This tiny little plant worked out so well. It was like a dollar something at Michael's. And then there's the original little honey container. And then listen, I found a Winnie the Pooh one two minutes after. So I had to get both, but it actually worked out one on either side. So this area is really like yellow honey 
type of theme. And then the bar card is really yellow and lemon type of theme. Then I got this tiny sign also at Michael's, which I thought was perfect. And I figured I could write a little quote on it. So I used these chalk markers from Arteza. I've talked about Arteza before. I love, love, love their products. I actually have a code for you guys. I can leave it down below, but I love their markers and their chalk markers are the best. So I did a little, don't worry, be happy. I just found some inspiration off of Pinterest. And then from there, I started cleaning off everything. So I put all of my Nespresso pods in one of those mason jars and I just started reorganizing our coffee bar area. So this is just like a little cupboard that I, that usually stays closed, but I wanted to organize all the toppings for the coffees, the coffee cups and the coffee mugs and all of the creams and flavors and teas and all of that stuff needed to be reorganized in there. So I did the best I could with that and I feel like it worked out pretty well. And then I usually have a little area next to the coffee machine with my go-to coffee mugs. And then I had this extra little wooden vase set from Michael's. So I added some flowers in there. I have a little extra candle in that herbs bowl. And those two little glasses are actually espresso glasses. And then I have another little, little baby nebulizer going in the back with more green clover and aloe. And I just kind of stuff that behind the tear tray. So you can't really see it and you don't realize why the kitchen smells so good. See, you can't see it at all, but works out really well. So that's like the little coffee area. Then I just cleaned everything up with some countertop cleaner, some method countertop cleaner. I, I, I always talk about it, but you need to know that is like the best countertop cleaner. It smells so good. So this is the coffee bar area. Love that little spot in the kitchen. Very cute. So then we went outside. We've been having really good weather. Andre helped me clean up the screened in porch. We have some big plans for this room. And you listen, beginning of the season, I don't wanna go down there and deal with spiders. So hubby helped me. So I took out all of the faux plants that I'd gotten at Michael's as well as my little hanging friends that are they're basically like moss hanging vases i will share all the details with you so those big banana leaves that i showed you earlier they ended up coming outside which worked perfectly i just need to order a couple extras and andre just vacuumed all of the nooks and crannies definitely super helpful so i don't have to deal with any spiders and that room is like all ready to go now and perfect so i use that room a ton it gets a ton of sunlight we love it i love the new privacy screen and i hung a bunch of like boho kind of style hanging plants everything is fake because i do not have a green thumb and these are those little hanging moss planters that are from michael's as well and i love them and carl is helping me so this is the progress on the little dwarf sunflowers as of today so I bought a little spritzer from Amazon just to help them grow because you're not supposed to directly water them and they need a ton of sunlight. So this room is perfect, but they're doing so well. You guys, green thumb who, I've got this. Things are just rolling. This is amazing. I'm very, very proud of myself. Now I, I kind of have a little bit of confidence and I want to grow more plants and I want to go to the store and get different ones. So it's happening, but I will link this and all the other products down below for you guys to stick with the boho theme. I got some boho pillows. I had shared these on Instagram as well as the hanging plants. And I just feel like the vibe is working out quite, quite well. I love these pillows. I got them off of Amazon and they're just not expensive and they pack a punch. They're very cute. Now let's talk about the pool. Yep. Okay. So I threw it off the edge of the balcony, not to be dramatic or anything, but it leaked after less than an hour leaked water and slow leak of the air. So we're not gonna do an inflatable pool. I wish that I could tell you that it was the best pool ever and that you should go get it. Please don't. It was so disappointing. So here's what's happening at the Belmars. We are redoing our backyard. We're, we're gonna do a pool. We're going to, we already had the designer come this week and I just, I wanna take you guys through the entire process. Now, I'm not sure if we're gonna do a fireplace or whatnot, but it's happening. Stay tuned, make sure that you are subscribed, follow along on Instagram and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys next time. Bye dudes.